when I was a kid, I remember reading a, an illustrated book I loved as a kid. It was something like My Dirty Dog Spot or something like that. It was a dog who had spots and it was dirty. <laughs> I forget the plot. But for some reason, this book here, My Dog Hen, really reminded me of that because it's creative and weird. And it's just the kind of thing that that some of those kids in early, even to late elementary school are really going to dig because you can look at the text and say, okay. The text is pretty simple, but it's kind of weird also. It's very creative. It's not the same kind of mamby-pamby, here's a dog who needs a home story. And what's unique about My Dog Hen is that it really doesn't even have a, it doesn't have the traditional classic elements of a story. There's no rising climax, no climax, no falling climax. It's just a story about this cute little dog who is named Hen. And what's not to love about a dog named Hen with the boy and the family that live there and the big giant sock robot toy that Grand Grand made for him. It's a cute book. It really is. It's one of those cute, really weird left to center books with graphics that'll speak to anybody. I mean, you look at these graphics and each one is different. They're playful. They're weird, engaging. And at the end of the day, kids just want to be entertained when they read an illustrated book. And that's if it's read to them or if they're reading it themselves. And that's what this book does. It's weird enough to be really entertaining, but it's also very unique and refreshing to where those elementary school kids, their eyes aren't going to glass over. They're going to they have seen this stuff before. Look at the graphics. They've seen nothing like this before and they'll love it. It is My Dog Hen. It's an illustrated book by David McIntosh. And it's going to be great for anybody in elementary school.